We're ready. some of these great boys and girls here and get a chance to get to uh, really see their performance that they have. They've been working really hard on this and so we're excited about seeing what they're going to provide for us. So um, with, without further ado, of course, I want to go on and welcome the fourth production of Mother Goose on the Loose by Miss Lemons and Miss Connor's class. So it's a nursery rhyme. It's basically a traditional song or poem that is often read and taught you know, to young people. And uh, with that being said, I want to go ahead on and welcome our first act, the first poem that we're going to hear from. How about Jack and Jill? So if we can help welcome Jack and Jill to the show. have been passed down and recited for hundreds, even thousands of years. Now, have you ever wondered why this may be? Well, of course, because they're fun, obviously, as you guys just saw there. So our kids love them, and of course, they like to teach them as well. So let's get ready here. In just a second, we're going to hear from our next set of rhymes here. And right now, we're going to get ready, I think, and welcome Humpty Dumpty. Let's give Humpty Dumpty a hand. <laughs> well, I'm glad that Corbin stepped up. One of our king's men is absent today, and this is Corbin, and he is from Miss Angoni's class, so he's stepping in, doing a big roll. Humpty Dumpty, of course. Humpty Dumpty was actually the name of a royalist cannon during the English Civil War. It was mounted on the top of a church tower. Now, when that tower was blown away, Humpty Dumpty crashed and then to the ground into the marshland. Though they attempted to retrieve it, all the king's horses and all the king's men, well, they just couldn't make it happen. So, that's basically what we had there. Now, as we get ready here, Candle, jumping as mentioned in Jack v. Nimble, was one of the many traditional superstitions for predicting the future. Kind of like we predict the weather future, I guess, too, but, you know, <laughs> we just use our finger for that outside, but it works. All right. All right. Now, uh, let's see here. Now, if you jump the candle and the flame remained, your future was bright. But if it went out, things weren't looking so good. Both of which were better than option number three. And of course, that was catching on fire. So now it's time to meet our very own Jack B. Nimble. All right. <laughs> Here we got the little hand. 
predicting to me so it works out <laughs> all right so the rhythm between words and sounds that repeat in regular intervals encourage kids to remember words which help improve auditory memory so music and reading skills check out these next skills now please welcome one of my all-time favorites all right three blind mice all right are funny and win their attention quickly. So please join me in welcoming our next act. We've got Baba Ba Black Sheep. laws in the 13th century England where one-third of the price of each bag of wool went to the king, the master, and two-thirds went to the church, the dame, leaving none for the shepherd, the crying little boy. Now, everybody, check your clock. Now it's time for Hickory Dickory Dock. mastermind behind all of this rhyming weirdness. So who is this winged author, right? There are many theories about who she was, including that she was the wife of a 17th century uh, Bostonian named Isaac Goose, and that the pair had 16 children between them. Now, unfortunately, the truth is the search for the real mother goose has resulted in a big goose egg, all right? So, there you go. There you go. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. So, somebody got it. Who could refuse helping our next performer? Let's welcome Little Bo Pete. Little 
puppy had lost the sheep and the sinner were to find them. Leave it alone and they will go home wagging the tail behind them. <laughs> are fun activities for children and because they are short children are able to pay attention and enjoy the experience now memorizing rhymes enable a child to understand the rules and patterns of language when a child recognizes the way people use words and sentences they are much more able to read nursery rhymes also foster creativity because hearing or acting them puts pictures uh, and ideas along with the words which enables children to use their imagination after today's performance, we encourage you to continue to do nursery rhymes with your child. This will allow them to grow and develop a love for learning. Now, this brings us to our last performance, so sit back and enjoy Hey Diddle Diddle. tell stories, they help children learn the wonderful world of language. So simple words that rhyme add a magical touch to these little poems for all of our little ones. So thank you for joining us today. Let's give them another round of applause for all the great work. All right. Oh yes, we'll have them come back in too. Oh yes. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. These guys have been working very hard over the past uh, several weeks get it performing these uh, uh, rhymes and rhythms and get them ready for you guys. So uh, we really want to appreciate them for all the hard work and effort. And I know they are really excited to have you guys in the audience as well. So let's give them one big round of applause again. You may see them on the Hollywood stage very soon here, so. <laughs> um, one thing that I mentioned to most of you if you were here at Christmas was how important um, it is to support your child through their education. And so right now at four and five years old, um, you see the smiles on their face and how happy they are to be able to make you guys happy with what little bit they've learned. So I encourage you, no matter what it is, whether it's reading a book each night, um, that you just continue to take um, a part of your child's education. This are, these are the fun years, and we hope that at this early age, we can instill a love of learning that will carry them through the next 12 years. So they have worked really hard, and each one of them has their very own nursery rhyme book that they'll be bringing home. Um, so we know that each one of them can say them, but we encourage you to continue to go over them with your child and help them practice the rhyming words and they can track print and be very impressed with how much they've learned. So boys and girls, can you give one final bow?